Today we're checking out some of the best cases available for the Pixel 7a. I have a feeling this is going to be a part one because we'll probably do at least one or two more videos as more cases are released. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this hybrid case by Poetic, one of my favorite cases that they're making right now comes in several colors, purple, mint, light pink, black, and the one shown here is sky blue. This one's also military standard drop tested. You've got a soft silicone material on the inside of the case, harder plastic shell there on the back. Pretty simple to get this one started on one side and the other side just pops right in. Nice screen protection all the way around. I feel like the power and volume buttons could stick out just a hair more. Really easy to use. You barely have to push them to get them to work. Nice and clicky as well. Part of the silicone material sticks through the back down there towards the bottom. Definitely helps give it a little more grip. Also has nice protection around the cameras on the back. Really nice two-tone look to it. Nice large cutout for the charging port. The case itself weighs 56 grams. 246 grams with the case on. And of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging as well. Now this case here by Torres is gonna work with MagSafe charging and other MagSafe accessories. You can see on the back, sort of a translucent matte material. And then it's got a black soft material around the edges. Snaps into the case real easy. And it's got a pretty snug fit as well. It does have a little bit of flex there on the side. Plenty of screen protection on all sides. A little bit of extra there on the corners. Really nice buttons on here. Power and volume buttons have a lot of clickiness to them. The whole case has a softer touch material. Helps give it a little bit of extra grip. You can see just a little bit of the blue color through the back of the case. It's also got good protection around the cameras. You can see it's got an extra large cutout for the charging port. You can see just a small logo there on the side. The case itself weighs 34 grams, so definitely one of the lighter cases out there. 228 grams with the case on. Also works good with wireless charging. You can see how strong the magnet is there in the back. Overall, just a nice quality case here from Torres. Easily one of my favorite cases here recently from Caseology is the Nano Pop series. Comes in two different colors, black sesame, and the one shown here is blueberry navy. This one also is military grade drop tested. You can see it's made of two different materials and the inside yellowish color shows through on the back where the cameras are. Pretty nice and thick, rigid design with this case. Fairly simple to put this case on, snaps right in. Pretty snug fit as well. It does move just a little bit there on the sides. For some reason, they made my Pixel Watch Band just a slightly different blue. As you can see, nice screen protection all the way around. One thing that's nice on this case, they added these little bumps on the sides. Makes it super grippy on the sides where you hold the phone. Nice and smooth buttons there on the side. And easily are some of the best buttons out there. Pretty simple design here on the back. Like I said, I do like the accent color that shows through and then very minimal branding down here at the bottom. Really nice and large cut out there for the charging port. Looks like 42 grams for the case itself. 234 grams with the case on. And then of course it's gonna work with wireless charging as well. Now the Ultra Sheer case from Cyril comes in a few different colors, kale, dusk, or gray. And the one shown here is deep sea. They also have some other variations where it looks like there's stickers on the back or clouds. As you can see, this one is a translucent clear case, sort of a matte finish there on the back and then clear around the edges and the camera. Surprisingly, this one's actually pretty rigid, barely flexes, harder plastic shell there on the back and then around the edges, softer TPU material. Even though there's a little bit of flex there on the sides, this is definitely one of the snuggest fits out of all the cases I've tested. It looks like it's got just enough screen protection all the way around. Extra protection on the corners as well. You can see the buttons stick out plenty on the sides, so they're easy to locate. They've got some nice clickiness to them as well. 
extra large cutout for the charging port. So that's always nice to see. You can just see the Google logo there in the center. Looks really good with this blue color. Just enough protection going around the cameras on the back. Nice and large opening for the charging port. That's always good to see. To me, it feels like it's got just enough grip to where it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of your hand. And because it's a matte material on the back, you don't have to worry about fingerprints with this one. And of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging. They also throw in a lanyard with this one. Easily one of the lighter cases out there. Only 30 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 224 grams with the case on. So overall, just a really nice, somewhat clear case with some decent grip by Cyril. Easily one of my favorite cases from Spigen is gonna be the Thin Fit case. I kind of wish they would come out with more colors. They've got pink sand and the one shown here is black. Nice and thin, but super rigid case. Hardly flexes at all. Super easy to put this one on. And you can't get much tighter than this case when it comes to how it fits. Nice screen protection all the way around. Easily some of the best buttons you'll find on a case in functionality, how they feel, they stick out plenty, so they're easy to locate. Definitely one of the largest openings for the charging port on the bottom, so that's going to be easy to get to. Nice and clean look here in the back as well. Just enough protection there for the cameras on the back. Probably the lightest case I've tested so far. Only 26 grams, 218 grams with the case on. And of course it works with wireless charging, so no problems there. Now if you've got lotion or grease on your hands, you might see that on this kind of case. So you'll probably have to clean it from time to time. Still is one of my favorite cases out of all brands though. Now the Ultra Color case from Cyril. They've got a couple variations with kale and the color here is Deep Sea, or as I like to call it, blue. It's a pretty flexible TPU case. So real easy to put this case on. And it does have a little bit of flex there on the sides. Overall though, pretty snug fit. It's a nice matte finish there on the back. More of a glossy, grippy material on the sides. Also comes with a lanyard as well. You can see the buttons stick out plenty there on the side, so you can feel where they're located without actually looking. And they've got some nice clickiness to them. Nice and large cutout there for the charging port. You can also see the accent color going around the cameras on the back, somewhat similar to the Nano Pop case by Caseology. Overall, pretty nice and clean design on the back. Decent screen protection all the way around. Fairly lightweight, only 34 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 226 grams with the case on. And of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging. If you're looking for a simple TPU case, this one's actually a pretty good choice in my opinion. And it's got some decent grip on it as well. Now, if you don't wanna cover up the back of your phone, the Rinky Fusion case comes with two different options, matte smoke black, or the one shown here is matte clear. As you can see, super rigid material, sort of a frosted center there, and then clear around the edges and the camera. This one has extra screen protection on the top and bottom, a nice texture on the power button, and the volume and power button stick out plenty on this one, easy to locate without looking. Easily some of the best buttons on a case for this phone in my opinion. Oversized cutout for the charging port. They're saying this case is anti-fingerprint and for the most part, yeah, I think they might be right. Overall, nice and clean design here on the back. You also have some holes there on the side for a lanyard and the rinky logo just super small there on the side as well. It's got a little bit of play there on the side, but overall really nice and snug fit. And pretty good grip on here. Feels very similar to other clear cases, maybe just a little bit thicker. The case itself weighs 28 grams, so easily one of the lighter ones out there. 224 grams with the case on. And of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging. 
Now the Afflex case is gonna be very similar to the Nanopop case from Caseology, but it's gonna have a little better grip, a little more heavy duty, and so it's gonna weigh just a little bit more. It comes in two different colors, active black, and the one shown here is active orange. This one's also military grade, drop tested. I wish they had other colors to match the pixel colors, but overall still looks really nice. This one is even more rigid than the Nanopop case. Really easy to snap this case on. It does have a little bit of play there in the sides, but overall nice and snug fit. Plenty of screen protection there all the way around. A nice protection around the cameras on the back. And I like the accent color going around there as well. Again, similar to the Nanopop. The whole case, including the buttons, have a rougher texture. Gives the case a lot of extra grip. Super easy to use. You barely have to push them. And they've got some nice clickiness to them as well. Nice large cutout for the charging port. The case itself weighs 52 grams, 242 grams with the case on. And even though it's a thicker case, wireless charging is going to work with this one. Overall, just a really nice rugged case for the Pixel 7a. Now, if you want something a little more rugged, the Tough Armor case from Spigen comes in two different colors, black and the one shown here is metal slate. This one is a hybrid case. We've got a softer TPU material on the inside, harder plastic shell on the back. It looks like it's got pretty decent screen protection on all sides. Definitely one of the best power buttons in my opinion. It's got nice ridges on it, super clicky. Same thing with the volume buttons. Just really easy to use. You don't have to push that hard to get them to work. Spigen always does a nice job when it comes to buttons. You can see it's got some good protection for the cameras on the back as well. You also have this metal kickstand, which gives you two different angles when in the stand position. It's got a pretty large cutout for the charging port. Also has an almost soft touch material, which does give it a little extra grip here, right where you hold the phone. It's 54 grams for the case itself. Looks like it weighs 246 grams with the case on. Even though this is a little bit thicker case, it's still going to work with the wireless charging. So if you want a case that's a little more rugged but not super heavy, you should definitely check this one out by speaking. Now the Liquid Air case by Spigen comes in two different colors, matte black and the one shown here is Abyss Green. Now this one is an all TPU case. As you can see, a pretty flexible case. Fits the phone nice and snug. Just a little bit of flex to it on the sides. It's got nice screen protection all the way around. You also have texture on the power button and along the sides of the case, so it gives extra grip. I like how they do the texture on the power button. Nice and easy to locate. And like usual from Spigen, really nice clickiness with the buttons. Easy to locate and you barely have to push them to get them to work. Also has a little bit of texture there on the back with all the lines or a pattern that they've got. Also has just enough protection there around the cameras. Nice and large cutout for the charging port as well. The case itself is only 30 grams, 226 grams with the case on. And of course, it's gonna work with wireless charging. So overall, pretty good grip on this one. I wish there was more color options to maybe match the new Pixel colors, but overall a nice quality case from Spigen as usual. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.